Have you ever seen a movie with aliens from E.T. to Independence Day? <laughs> well, people think aliens are not real. And there's pumping change into a game called Area 51. If the Earth is ever attacked by aliens, you're welcome to stand behind me. That was a quote by C.J. Roberts. Well, people think aliens in Area 51 don't exist. And those who think that, well, I can't do anything for your minds to change about changing. Well, at least give it my best. Somewhere in the Nevada Triangle, there is a military base called Edwards Air Force Base, and near it is Area 51. In the, 1950, in the 1950s, the Navy, the U.S. Navy and Air Force sent low-flying recon aircrafts. Okay, you can. Then, the beginning of the beginning of Area 51. The the yeah, the beginning of Area 51. Area 51. The U.S. The President Eisenhower. President Eisenhower sent um, air and started the U2 program. The U2 program. And they sent over the Soviet Union. And at that time, the Soviet Un Union lowered the Iron Curtain and sent a blackout so the world wouldn't know about it. When, when they were heading, scientists were heading, and scientists and Area 51 researchers were heading up a hill when a helicopter came over and one of them said, are they here for us? And the other one replied, are they circling the area? And then they said, yes. And then he said, they're here for us. Area 51 is very high alert. Only the government and the, and the government, any type of military can knows, knows it's in it and can get in it. What I think about Area 51 is, if you think UFOs and aliens are real, well, to break it to you, here is what a UFO really is. And it is a United States U-2 that can go up to 60,000 feet from a normal jet plane or anything that has a wing and an engine can go up to 40 to 45,000 feet. Well, that's what people think. And I do not. Thank you.